Quick sketch day 28. Today I wanted to play around with some cloth simulations. I just wanted to see what else you could do with it rather than just normal pillows. So I just first of all played around with just making a round cylinder, trying out the smooth modifier, playing around with that, just trying to get a nice round cylinder as you can see right there. And then the idea was, uh, I had the idea to connect two vertices on the opposite side. So you have this edge between them in the middle of the object. And if you then, as you can see right there, you can see them with the smooth modifier, you can already see what I wanted to achieve. If you go to the pressure setting, it like stays, like keeps its volume and maybe blows up even more. And then if you eat also under shape, take the sewing option. It then pulls the two vertices, as you can see right there, the two vertices that are connected with this loose edge together. That's what I use for these next pillows as well. I was just trying to use different primitive objects um, using the same technique, just pulling multiple or even just one set of vertices together. Here I tried to use the pin option as well, where you select multiple multiple vertices and then you can say that they're pinned so they're not moving in the cloth simulation and you can get this weird flower like pillow i then tried that with a cube which is applying a subdivision modifier oh i forgot to use the the volume i mean the pressure option keep in mind to activate that and then i would use a value of like 10 or so if it's just floating in the air at least if you want to put it on the ground it's probably it should be less because otherwise it wouldn't really like normal pillow would it wouldn't really be soft it would be more like a balloon as you can see we can get some really interesting shapes for pillows even this cone i just cut off this or beveled the top of this cone and then put in a grid fill to get a nice topology down it's important to have a nice even topology everywhere and then I tried to use Suzanne as well but uh, it was kind of kind of interesting what happened <laughs> um, yeah so Suzanne you can't really can't really use without um, adjusting her I did the same with this Taurus as well just selecting eight eight points connecting them and then using the cloth modifier pressure and sewing on and there we go we have this interesting round pillow I then just put them all in a scene together just put them how they would fit in the scene like some like your pillow porches basically and you could probably to make it look more realistic also use the cloth modifier in this scene like if you put them together so they're actually like interacting with each other and maybe are even a little bit softer and then i switched back to or switched to the materials i found a really easy trick to create a kind of believable cloth with just one texture i mean one one yeah one texture the voronoi texture i'm probably gonna make a small video out of that as well just um i think that it looks quite believable if you're not getting too close um and it's really really fast it takes like a minute or so to set up if even and then i tried to make this like elusive or like this material that shines on the edges like if you're not directly looking at, at it looks kind of weird because it looks like it's glowing um so i would probably have to look at it back to see what i could improve on that this is of course just a quick sketch so i was just playing around then i used a magic texture and i thought i, I got a quite interesting shape out of it this nice black and white wavy abstract uh, material which looks really cool in my opinion just using a constant um, color ramp and then adjusting the magic texture to get this interesting shape i use a wave texture for the these rings right there just you put the put that onto the a mapping node with a texture coordinate set to object and then for the last one i just made this a pretty smooth material without the the cloth basically material and then applied a texture to the roughness so it looks kind of interesting with these different patterns that adjust the roughness of the object then i just put down a plane made that really reflective so you can see the reflections on the ground made that black so it looks a little bit more interesting a little bit more 
ominous darker and then I just put in two more lights one yellow and one purple so these after like these lights not only illuminate these objects but also the HDRI I put in the background then I just worked on my post-production I not only worked like used post-production in blender itself but I also went into Photoshop and adjusted it some more not not like big changes but as you can see right there that's the final image and I think it looks quite cool and it's a really easy technique to get some interesting pillows if you have any questions you can always put them in the comments if you like the video you can give it give me a like and if you want to see more you can subscribe so until then see ya